many of our clients have asked us if we could provide them with a way to promote workbooks from site to site and server to server in a controlled and auditable way. Wouldn't it be great if we could just have an easy to use tool that would let us select our point A, point B, to my dev site, to my QA site, or UAT to prod, or, or move from uh, the server in Singapore to the server in Munich. And it'd be awesome if we could just click run and it would go take the workbooks we've selected based on the filters we've specified, make the various changes to them that we've specified, change from this data source to that, remove an extract, etc., and then promote those to the target environment. That would just be awesome. And I think icing on the, on the cake would be if we could also make other transformations at the meantime, like maybe removing a watermark or updating our URL actions. And I mean, this is crazy, but it would be fantastic if we could actually archive existing workbooks and have some proper version control on Tableau Server. If we had such a solution, our clients would just uh, beat down the door. Well, it turns out that we have such a solution, and that's the Enterprise Deployment Tool for Tableau by Interworks. And what you're seeing right now is one of the most requested features in Tableau, one of the most requested capabilities, and we've built it. So let me show you how it works. This is the graphical designer, and then there's a server component for running these on a schedule. In this graphical design environment, you select your point A, point B, what's my source server, what's my target server, what's my source site, what's my target site, and then specify which workbooks you want to promote, either all the workbooks that are in site A, uh, or a specific subset of those workbooks that you've selected, or maybe you want to do this in a rules-based fashion. So you might want to say, my data governance workflow is anything published by Ben, who's my BI manager, and tagged with approved will be promoted. Or maybe our setup is a little more self-serve. We have a project called approved, and anything that's placed in that project gets promoted. And then there's also the concept of mapping, because your dev environment rarely has the same layout as your prod environment, and sometimes people name their workbooks crazy things like... Uh, uh, Deutschland v 7.1 Matthews edit, and you want to fix that to something that makes a little more sense. Or maybe you want to map things that come from the finance dev project to something with a friendlier name on prod. And of course, there's data source mapping. So anything, let's say, for example, it, uh, is using our dev SQL Server database will get changed to use our prod SQL Server database. Anything perhaps that's using an Oracle connection with an extract, we'll remove that extract. So we dev on the extract in dev, and then we want to use a live connection in prod. Or maybe we want to pull in a data source that's actually out on a server. So we'll go grab uh, one of these that's actually part of a published workbook, load that data source, and now when we find any data source that uses Oracle with an extract, we are going to replace that data source wholesale with this one that's published on the production server. After we set up these rules, we can also set up any additional transformations, and these are endlessly extensible. If it can be done to the work book in Tableau Desktop, we can do that here. So we've got some clients who want to remove tooltip commands when they promote, or they want to strip out images, or they want to update URL actions. Whatever those things are, we can take care of those. And then the last step is version control. What do we want to do if the workbook already exists? Once you've defined this plan, you can run it, as you saw at the beginning of this presentation. And I'll show you what this looks like out on my server. So now on my production server, in my archive folder, you can see the historic versions of the workbooks that I've published. So here's the one we've just promoted and the project it came from, and a session ID, so we can roll the whole thing back. So it brings transactionality and proper version control to Tableau, along with true cross-site, cross-server, governed workflows for workbook promotion. And that is the Enterprise Deployment Tool for Tableau by Interworks. To find out more, go to powertoolsfortableau.com, go to the Tools and Enterprise Deployment, and you can sign up to get access to the beta. Thanks so much.